Oh man, hey viewers, welcome to a new Let's Play project, which uh, it's a Square Enix game, and by the title you can probably already tell what it is, but I'm gonna play stupid while everything loads, and um, cause I'm, I'm playing it on my PS4, cause how else are you gonna play it? It's like a PS4 exclusive as far as I know, but it's World of Final Fantasy baby, yeah! Uh, why World of Final Fantasy? Because, you know, Fantasy. I was surprised how much I really enjoyed this game. I, I had a lot of fun, I played through it, uh, enjoyed it. I, I felt like just LPing it, I don't know why. Um, it, it's great, we'll get into it in a second. But, I guess that's not really the point. The point is, let's, uh, let's get into it. So then I can explain how I'm gonna go about actually playing it. But first off, you know, you gotta check out all the stuff that I got off the PS store because uh, you can get day one DLC like all these fun little things don't really care not important we got opening cinematics and what have you I'm gonna be quiet for the most part because as you can tell a lot of its voice narrated Time to wake up. <sighs> well, voice narrated or, you know, dialogue. Just kind of want to let it all play out. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Oh man, I gotta go to work. I'm late. Uh, so yeah, we got a. Uh, and again, I got free it's control. Not like business has picked up any. Oh man. Anyways, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably gonna be pretty quiet during cutscenes. Otherwise, you know, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably add my own commentary. The streets sure are quiet today. 
So we're playing as the brother. And uh, I guess we work here because it's the only place we can go. here yet good morning I'm real sorry I hope you haven't been waiting long huh? hmm. right she needs some water oh no thanks a pint I mean a cup of coffee please oh and bring the whole jar of sugar I'm gonna need it right that's one cup of Joe and I'll get you one of the big jars Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <sighs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah! Look! Come with me right now! Easy! <laughs> Have you bumped into anyone today, besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, 
now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama, right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. Use a gun! Huh? Hey, hey! You hey. can't just uh. leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I just see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, whoa, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. But I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... <sighs> you know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Mirage Keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can... Do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. So we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours, and you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, I get my first battle. Oh man. So uh, it if, if you uh if you're kind of wondering, this game works exactly like Pokemon in so many ways. In fact, you might as well just call it Final Fantasy Meet Pokemon. Okay, go ahead and throw some attacks out there. To take action, also, this is the tutorial, so basically, we're just we're learning how the game works. Gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. Oh, thanks, Tama. No, nah, she, she's pretty helpful. Alright. So, yeah, basically it's just teaching us how to do stuff. Since I'm playing, I guess it's more pivotal to myself. Not important. You know what's important? We got a fast forward button. Also, I, I guess I shouldn't abuse that because people will say things. And I just kind of skip the dialogue. Uh, yeah. So, telling us, um... Every, every type has a weakness and stuff like that. It... Not so important right now. What's important is, you know, we, we attack, we do our things, we got uh, something that looks like Tava called a, uh, I don't even know. I'm not even seeing the name here. Actually, you know what I can do? I can go to basic. Now it's really like a Final Fantasy. Y your guru. Your guru? Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Not important. Um, just gonna keep attacking. 
Oh, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Point it. Oh, yeah. Foul mode. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess if you really want to make it as cl classic as possible, I, I don't care. I'm going for active time because, uh, no, actually, I'm going for wait time. Screw, one. screw active time. I'm pausing the battle every time it's my move. Maybe I have to make an extremely strategic battle plan. Anyway, so that's Lon and Tom, everybody. Rain handles exactly the same way. There's no difference. Know the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, but seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been stripped of all their memories of the Mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> oh man. Uh, so I think I'm going to end off the first part here because, you know, it's been a long introduction. And you know what? It's going to get even longer in the next part. Or something like that but I'll get more into the game this has just been like the first part and it's heavy on the introduction as you can imagine trying to explain everything that's going on in fact I probably did a terrible job the game had to do most of it for me because it's all cutscene and dialogue anyways uh, next time we'll actually start getting into the real game it'll be amazing